Hi guys, today we will see how we can deploy our React application on EC2 instance using GitHub Actions. So this is a sample React application. It was created using Create React app and it contains the boilerplate code. So now if we go back to our EC2, I don't have any instance running, so I'll click on Launch Instances. I can give a relevant name to my instance. I want to use Ubuntu, so I'll select Ubuntu here. T2 Micro is data eligible, which is fine. Uh, I want to generate a new key pair. If you have ex existing one, you can use that as well. When I click on create, the key pair is downloaded. Now moving ahead, I have the option to create a new security group or choose an existing one. So if you have existing one, you can select that. I am going to create a new security group and I also want to allow internet traffic. So I'll select HTTPS and allow HTTP. Other things look good. So I can click on launch instance. So this will start our instance. So now if we refresh, here we can see our instance starting up. So in the meantime, we can go back to our React application, click on the settings tab. And on the left hand side, we see this actions. Click on actions and then click on runners. So here we have this option to create a new self-hosted runner. Click on that. And here you will see a couple of steps mentioned. So based on the OS that we selected in our EC2 instance, uh, we have the steps. So you can select our desired OS and then move away with the respective steps. Now coming back to the EC2 instance, I'll refresh it once. Okay, so it is running now. Uh, if we click on the connect, then SSH client, uh, we can open a terminal. I'll move into my downloads directory because that's where the key pair was downloaded. So we start with changing the file permissions first. This is done. And now we can use this example to connect to our instance. I'll say yes. And we are in our instance. Now here we can create a directory and cd into that. So here we can start with, uh, so we already have created a directory. So if you haven't created, you can run this command. Otherwise, you can directly jump to this one. So copy this command, go to terminal, paste it. So you have to paste each command one by one. So I've copied this one. So this is this will validate the hash. And it says OK. Now I'll extract it. And that is also done. Moving ahead, I can copy the config command. So we can simply press enter. And it says runner added successfully. Now if we see the contents of our directory, we will see this svc.sh file. So what we have to do now is run this file with sudo. sudo svc.sh and first we have to say install and now we have to start this so this is done now we will move back to our uh, github uh, if we refresh the page so we don't see anything now so go back to general and runners again so here we can see our IP mentioned here. Now we can go to the Actions tab, click on it. So since React is an OGS application, we will click on Configure. And here we will see a bunch of options. So I want my build to run only when something is merged with the master branch, so I can remove this pull request part. Line number 13, I can remove Ubuntu latest with self-hosted. 
I want to use node version 16.x so I can remove the other ones. So npm ci will install the dependencies, it will build if the build command is, command is present. I don't have any test cases so I can remove the test command as well. Uh, click on the start commit and I will commit directly to the master branch. Now if we go back, so we can see the build has already started. So we can click on details and it is setting up the job for us. Okay, so our job has started. So it might take a couple of seconds here. So in the meantime, we can come back to terminal. So what we want to do now is install Nginx. So we'll say sudo apt install Nginx. Say yes. And it is done. Now if we want to see if everything is working as expected, so we can go back to our instance, click the back button, select our instance, and here we see this public IP4 DNS. So click on this open address. So it says this site can't be reached, and that's because Nginx is currently exposed to HTTP link, and this is an HTTPS link. So we, since we haven't added any certificate, we will remove the S and make it SCTP and click enter. So we can say welcome to Nginx. So everything is working as expected. Now seeing the GitHub part, we can see it's a green tick here, means everything is deployed. Now if we go to our terminal again, do ls. So we, have, we can see a new directory created and that is underscore work. So if you cd into that work, I can clear the console, ls. Now we see React Deploy, and React Deploy is the name of a repository. So cd into that, cd into it again, and do ls. So here we can see some familiar files and folders. So here we also see the build uh, build directory. So we will cd into that, and do ls. So this is what we want to be rendered, because this index.html is what is rendered whenever we, want our, uh, whenever we open our website. So we can copy this path, we'll do pwd, present working directory, and we'll get a path. So we can simply copy this and save this for later. So I have this online pad open, I'll paste it here. Now, coming back to our terminal. So now we want to update our Nginx settings. So we will cd into slash etc slash Nginx. Enter. So here we can see it into sites available, ls, and here we see default. So for now what we can do is we can remove this default file. So we create a new file, sudo nano default. So it's a blank file. So in this blank file, we can copy this uh, command. So I'll paste this in the description. If you go back here and paste it. So here you can see this root and it expects a path. So in this path we will paste whatever path we got from our uh, pwd command. So I'll copy this. I'll come back here and I'll replace this path with our path. Now let's say control X, Y, and enter. So now what we want is we want to restart Nginx. Oops. Now if we go back and click refresh, so we can see a 500 internal server error. 
So the reason we are seeing this 500 error is the uh, Nginx is unable to access our build folder because it is placed outside etc. So now we have to give uh, edit permissions to Nginx so that it is able to reach the build folder. So now if you remember our path, it was this. And if you open our terminal again, we can cd to home. Now what we have to do is give permissions. So chmod plus x slash home. Okay, so we have to use sudo here. And one by one, we have to copy each directory in our coming in our path. So we can take reference from the path we copied. And one by one, we can keep on adding that. And at last is the build folder. So once this is done, we can come back to our link, click on refresh, and you can see uh, our React application has loaded. That's all for now. Thank you.